but if you're a new viewer consider hitting that subscribe button down here and give us a thumbs up and if you're returning also give us a thumbs up check out the website <clears throat> link in the description apologize for the, the lateness in this i've been busy working on the website and getting it built and getting it online it's where you can find all the products i, I use in my videos all the tools i use is all on the website so you can go over there purchase anything you see on my video and go from there so this video so this video is a bit hit and miss on it but you get the general idea of how to change the lambda sensors uh, this is the rear bank uh, post cap I believe um, which is a blue sensor so I'm going to flip over we're going to crack on with that one I'm going to show you this footage um, hopefully it helps and um, yeah cheers for being patient with us thanks for the support and let's crack on thanks for watching cheers guys hi everyone in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to change the lambda sensors in your mondeo mark III. in this case on my st220 uh, so if you're a returning subscriber thanks and give us a thumbs up um, and if you're new consider hitting that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up also So in today's video, I'm, like I say, I'm going to show you how to change these Lambda sensors. There's two types. There's a post cap and a pre cap. A post cap is the blue one, which is this one, and on the downpipe of the of the catalytic converter itself, uh, there's a pre cap, which is green connector, which is the other one, which is in the manifold on this in this car. Um, so some of this footage is going to be coming from my GoPro because of getting the camera up here at the rear um, so you'll be seeing it from myself with this above my head so I'm gonna crack on and let's do this so first things first your flexi pipe to cat you need a 15 mil bolt on there it's a deep socket one and an 8 mil holding the bracket on um, like in the previous video you see where I removed these the link will be up the top here somewhere in the cards to show how to get this down so I'm not going to bother filming this I'm going to lower this down get the, the I've got a space to go in and I'm going to put the new sensor in okay you can see I've got it down this is the rear one this is my, my DCAT sport pipe I've got a spacer for the rear bank so Everything I buy, and you see these videos, can you you can buy in the description below. Find the thread and gently thread it in. And once you're in, tighten it up. Keep turning this, all right? And if it gets tight, it will go. It's just a bit tight and just all and pop it on there and just carefully tighten it up like that and if you if you've got a normal cat then that's fine because what you'll do is pretty much the same you just take the old lamp sensor out and put the new one in but because I've got these after ones they need these spacers in I'm making sure this is up so facing up because once it's up there I don't want it to be touching on the alternator so I've got to position this just so uh, it might take a couple of attempts to get it up there so I make sure it's fitting properly um, let's get my lambda sensor I've taken the, the cut plastic cover off of it already again where you to buy these is in the description Let's 
see that going in nicely. Okay, I'm not going to do it up fully yet because I want to trial it up there, make sure it all sits in nicely. Okay, so as you can see, the space is in, it's tightened up, the lamber sensor's in. Ready to go, I've just got to feed the wire up to the top and plug it in at the top end. So you can just about see the blue plug there. I've got to grab it somehow and plug it in down the back here. Probably plugged in just down here. And down the back. Down it. Put it up. And that's that one. Just got to plug it in now. is blind so I'm gonna have a little dig around get a photo and I'll post that at the end of the video so you can see where it is there you go it's all in tightened up it's a pain in the butt to do but it can be done at home on your drive with a few tools um, I'm gonna do the the green one now pre cat uh, which is the one in the manifold um, but before I do that I'm going to make sure I put the flexi pipe back in place and do everything up right. this pipe there is another pipe that's changing in the way but I don't really want to move it which is this black one just here um, I've just replaced that so I'm going to try not to move it try and do it without impact I could probably do it As you can see, I think I've loosened it off, but I've actually dropped my, my 19 mil. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I've cracked it off. And there it is, get that out of the way. Get your new sensor, in this case the green one. Like I said, it's your pre-cat one. Remove the little cap that comes on it. camera in a nice comfy position and then lower this one into place As you can see, it's in. Um, I didn't. I, I done it off a camera just because the way I had to get an angle on it. What causes the problems is the wiring on the end, because as you turn it, the wires turn up. So I right, don't worry. I'm just dropping my tools. Um, you can see the wires just here. Let's see if I can get a better view on them. Yeah. You've got to be careful, you don't twist them up too much. So every couple of turns of the Lamber sensor, try and turn your cables around as well if you can. 
what I found easier to get this in in the end was that I turned it like I was undoing it but I didn't put it in and then I put the Lambda sensor into the socket and then let go and then it unraveled itself which helped tighten it up I wish I could have shown you guys that on video but there's not much space here to do this sort of thing but I try and get my best as I can so you see where the location is really you see where how tight and fiddly it is but it can be done just be you know if you've got more time on your hands um, you can take the upper inlet and the fold off gives you a bit more room up the top here um, here goes a better view so that's where it is you can see the wires where they've all tangled up down the back there focus right down there focus there we go so where they twist up that's as you're doing it up so what i done is I, I turned the actual lamp sensor the opposite direction before i put it into the so into the the connection right into the socket and then as I unraveled it like I was doing it up, it took bite on its own. I kept doing it every two or three turns. I'd come back to the wiring, untangle the wiring. And uh, yeah, I wish I could have shown you a bit more detail on this. But yeah, I couldn't. So, But that's how to change the Lambert sensors, pre-cat and post-cat. Um, it can be done at home on your drive like I do in the garage. It's a bit fiddly, but it's all good.